Hey guys, welcome back to another Code and Flamingo video. So as a person that watches cloud videos, you have probably heard about infrastructure as code and how great it is. And probably someone has told you oh, to use ARM templates and how great that is and all that. Well, that person was kind of wrong. ARM templates are super painful to use. And today we're going to use an another alternative. That it's Pulumi, which is basically what ARM templates should be. First, we have to install it. So I already installed it, so I'm just going to go through it real quick. Uh, best way to install it is just using Choco install Pulumi. Uh, if you hate yourself and you don't use Chocolaty, you can also download it and install it manually, I guess. Um, also, Pulumi lets you use any of these languages for uh, creating your infrastructure as, as code. So we're going to use C Sharp, but if you use any of the other ones, you got to make sure you have the stuff you need. Uh, in C Sharp, you only need .NET. Um, you should already have .NET and you also need the Azure CLI. So make sure you have the Azure CLI and because it actually uses that to, to log in and stuff. So next we're gonna create a new project. So in here it guides you through it. So basically you have to create a directory and then do Pulumi new and one of their templates. So in this case, we're just gonna use the one that they have because either way we're gonna modify it. So I'm just gonna open here my terminal and a folder that I already have that it's empty. If it's not empty, you have to use dash dash fours, but this is where I want to have it. And as always, all the code is going to be down in the description in our GitHub, in my GitHub. So feel free to check it out. And while you're there, feel free to like the video and subscribe. So we're just going to go ahead and do new. And if it's the first time, it'll ask you to log into Pulumi. So you have to create an account. It's free for one user and, and so on. And project name, you can call it whatever. And here, I'm just going to go with the uh, default and just call it web app, which is the name of my folder and description same, like I'm just going to leave it as is. And then it asks you for a stack that you want to create. You, you can have multiple. In this case, we're just going to create the development step. So we're just leaving everything default. And if you just press enter, it'll leave everything as default. If not, you can change it. Same with location. You can change it if you want. We're just going to do West US because why not? Now in the back end, it created a, a bunch of stuff. So if we open here, now we have all of this. And basically, we're just going to open it in VS Code. And basically, they are there are some files in here. Uh, let's see which ones are important. So there is a my stack. This is where everything is created. So this is the important one. This is just an entry point. Then this is the the dev stack that you created that has a location so you can change it here and stuff and here it has a name and the runtime and the description so you can change that as well so as you can see we're going to be working on my stack and in, in this so let's get started all right so i cheated a little bit and stopped the video and got all the text in it uh the only thing is i also i'm creating a, a group i'm going to talk about it later an ad group so I need to add the reference to Pulumi Azure AD. So we're just going to go to the project and this is the same as adding a .NET reference. I'm just copying it from a test project. So if it, this one you could do .NET add and like Pulumi.Azure AD and all, all that stuff. But in here, we're just going to do it like this and it should eventually go away. So basically let's go through what I'm doing. First, I'm creating a resource group. So I'm going to create a resource group in the subscription. And then I'm creating a, a service bus and I'm using the regular SKU and, and all this information is in the Plumi stuff. So like you can go here and like you'll give you sample and stuff. It doesn't give you, it gives you kind of like the starter and then you kind of have to play with the outputs and look at the documentation. So that's what this video is here for. I read the documentation so you don't have to read the documentation just like any other developer out there. So yeah, so I create the service bus and I create a sample queue that we're just going to create and call sample queue. And this is the actual names of the stuff. So it's going to have some uh, unique values at the end, just to make sure that there is no collisions. Uh, Pulumi adds them. But so basically this is going to be called web app service app, blah, 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 blah on Azure. And then I'm creating an app service plan. So this is where we're going to host our web app that it's going to have an app insights. So in here, one of the cool things is that you can use the output. So as you can see, everything we're creating is a variable. Uh, and this is all .NET, like C-sharp. So like you should be used to it. 
Um, so we're using, for example, like the resource group name, we're using resource group, which is the variable we created and then dot name and um, same service plus and, and stuff like that. So in here we're passing to the web app, we're creating an app setting. So like this is for when we deploy, like it's gonna have the app insights already in there. So like we don't have to do anything with that. We're forcing HTTPS only and we're creating an MSI. This is important. I have covered MSIs in other videos. Basically it's Azure managing the identity for you. That's why it's managed service identity. That's MSI stands for. Uh, then I'm getting the current user. And the reason for that is because I'm creating a, a group this is I usually like creating it in groups because like if you're having multiple deployments across multiple regions or something, you want to just have a group that you can just add to resources. Uh, so I'm creating a group and I'm calling it my new group because I'm very creative and I'm putting an owner. It's me and members. It's the web app. And then I'm creating the key vault. So I'm creating the key vault. I tell it what tenant ID, I soft delete all that stuff. And then I'm creating the access policies. And in here I'm adding myself as one of the access policies where I have set, get, list, and delete. And then I'm adding the app ID, oh, sorry, the group. And they don't have delete permissions. And you can add tags and everything. So it's basically the same as you could do with a portal or uh, Azure ARM templates or anything. And then the cool thing about this is I also add the secret. So I grab the service bus, default primary key, and add it into the key vault. So then I don't have to do anything else, like everything is taken care of. And the outputs of the script is just gonna be the key vault URL and the secret URL. So if I wanna copy that into an app settings or something, I can just do that. And you can check out my video on key vault, it's pretty cool, just saying. It's gonna be down in the description as well. So now I'm just gonna open terminal and the way to deploy this, you have to be in the folder where you are, and then you do pull me up. And so, so after a, a few seconds, it went ahead and built the stuff and it kind of tells you what it's gonna do. So it tells you like, we're gonna create a resource group, app insights, blah, blah, blah. You check all this stuff. And it gives you the option, do you want to actually deploy it into Azure or no? If you're just testing and stuff, you say no. If you want to deploy it, you say yes. So it's going to go ahead and deploy. I'm just going to stop the video and let the magic happen. All right, so uh, one thing that I forgot to mention is it, Pulumi knows how like the order and dependencies. So it'll go and create the stuff depending on the dependencies that you have. So it'll go create the resource group first and then the, re the rest of the stuff. And then like, for example, the app service plan and then the app service and so on. So that's something that it takes care of it for you. And then we can see here we have the outputs. So it tells me like the AKV URL and the secret URL. And it tells me what happened and how long it took. And then if we go here to Azure, we can see the resource group that was created and we can see the stuff. And the coolest thing is we can see the secrets and we can see the secret with the connection string. So in a few minutes, we were able to deploy. And now let's say we the, the cool thing about this too is it's smart and it knows when you change something. So like. And let's say we no longer want app insights for some reason. So we can just comment app insights out, comment this out, and we do pull me up again, and it'll build everything again. And we can see here that it found that we have to update the app service because I commented out the apps insights stuff. So it will go and update that and it will delete the app insights resource. And once again, you can do yes or no. In this case, we're just going to do no because I'm going to teach you how to delete everything. And let's say once you're done with everything and you want to remove the whole thing, you can do pull me destroy. And this will clean up all your resources. So you'll see tend to delete and then you say yes and it'll clean everything up. So this covers the first entry into Pulumi. Let me know if you guys want to see more videos like this. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.